Hello, everybody, and welcome to the IRT Network. We are here at the U.S. Open, the United Healthcare U.S. Open, the 22nd annual here in. We're in Minneapolis right now, downtown Minnesota, here at the Target Center, home of the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Minnesota Lynx. Shout out Lynx for winning their fourth WNBA championship. Uh, what was that two two nights ago in a game five? About as exciting as it gets. Congratulations, Lynx, once again. Their fourth title since 2010. So four out of seven years. Can't complain about that. We're here watching Alvaro Beltran warm up. And I think all of you out there know who he's facing. The old Sudster trying to make a comeback in his career. And we're going to let you guys watch them warm up. We're going to be starting the action here soon. And I uh, hope you guys are ready for some excellent racquetball.
check, check. Good morning, everyone. This is Charlie Pratt. We're just letting you watch these guys warm up a little bit. I know you're probably wondering when they're going to start, but very, very soon they've been warming up for 10 minutes already. And exciting, exciting match coming up. Highly anticipated Sudzy Monchek coming into the U.S. Open after I don't know how many years. I think his last U.S. Open was 2003, possibly 2004. So we're talking 12, 13, 14 year hiatus from this tournament. I don't think anyone could predict that this would happen ever. Age 42, here he is, quarterfinals. Has already taken out two top 10 players on his way. Sudzy also teamed up with Cliff Swain in the doubles, which was awesome. They lost first round, played a great team from Mexico, Javier Mar, Edson Martinez. Lost in a close tiebreaker. They were actually up in the second game. But such a cool experience seeing those two back on the court together as a doubles team. Talk about a decorated doubles team. I'd say a fair comparison to that doubles team would be something like Kane and Rocky. As far as the number of titles they've won and number ones. There's a nice shot of Sudzy hitting his patented backhand splat. Poetry in motion. Best backhand of all time. You're watching it right now, right here. Take notes. A little background on Sudzy. Sudzy took a position in Ecuador as the head coach for the entire Ecuador adult and junior team. Sudzy is now here in Minneapolis, if I'm not mistaken. Scott McClellan, our referee, Asking if Sudzy is ready. Looks like he is, and we'll be getting started very shortly. Charlie, we got some uh, viewers out there. You were mentioning the backhand of Sudzy and the best in the game. So, um, let's see. Miles Halverson wants to know what makes Sudzy's backhand so good. Well, I guess just this, how flat he swings. If you watch him, you know, he kind of just rotates in a full flat motion as if he was skimming the racket on top of a table. I mean, he really does it on the forehand and backhand, his ability to stay flat in the swing, which is why he's one of the most powerful players of all time. So it's really just a stroke. It's, it's rotating horizontally. Mm-hmm where most, a lot of players, where they make their mistake, they they have a pendulum swing, kind of up and then down into the hitting zone, yeah. where Sudzy starts low, 
near his left shoulder and comes through, hits the ball around his hip area, and then finishes below his right shoulder. Gotcha. So it's a very here, there. I know you guys can't see me doing this, right. but I'm making a backhand motion, <laughs> but it's very flat. And I'm in front of a table, so that also helps. Well, the action is just about ready to start. And for those of you asking, yes, we will be changing this angle. This is just for the warm-ups. In fact, oh. What a match this is going to be. Yep. You know, these guys... This is definitely um, an experienced match. Alvaro has been on tour almost 20 years. He is 37, 38 years old. Not exactly sure. Sudzi is 42. So combined, they're 80 years old. Yeah. Alvaro has two IRT Pro tour uh, titles has made close to 40 finals in his career. That is incredible. Yep. Countless national titles for Mexico, world titles, Pan American titles, and then Sudzi, one of the great, you know, Alvaro is one of the greatest international players of all time. Mm -hmm. As far as the IRT, he's, you know, he's fallen short on title wins but, you know, if you look at just his overall career, one of, one of the top 20 probably players on the IRT of all time. And aside from Rocky Carson, probably the, the best international player. Our referee, Scott McClellan, is in the court. Probably explaining a few things. I'm sure these players know the rules by now, though. Here's John Scott, our tour CEO. We all know John very well. He is working extra hard this tournament, playing multiple roles, doing an awesome job. Can't say enough about John Scott. Here in the background, Mr. Tom Petty, RIP. Yes, there's been a lot of Tom Petty being played the last couple days. As there should be. Yep. We are about to get started here, folks. Thanks for being with us this morning. The final will not be broadcasted on Facebook this year. I believe the semis and the finals will be available through the IRT network. But until we get there, we've got some great racquetball coming your way, and it's all free. You can go to the IRT YouTube page, you can go to the IRT Facebook page, or you can go to the IRT network. And all matches that have been streamed here on this court up to this point, including all of today's matches, you can go on Facebook under the International Racquetball Tour page. 
and watch all the matches if you missed any of the 16s or 32s or if you even want to watch Cliff and Sudsy's doubles. Feel free to go on Facebook. It's all there on the International Rackball Tour page. Oh my my. Marcel Esteep says morning, Pratt. Marcel, good morning. Good to see you on here. Anthony Rodriguez is watching at work trying not to get caught. Yes. Do your best, Anthony. Dedication right there. That is Doug Gannam on the mic. Doug Gannam running this tournament for 22 years. You know, Kelly, we, about 10 minutes ago, this, the stadium was, you know, a little empty. What, I the morning. 20, 30 people yep. maybe? In the last 10 minutes, it is packed. You know what, I think. As it should be. Look at that. And it's only going to get, once I hear these guys actually start playing. Oh, yeah. You know, because players are playing matches. People have matches right now. It's probably killing them because no, they want to see this. And that's a great point. It's not just the fans that are here that have bought a ticket. It's all the other players that are around the facility that know who's who's playing in this quarterfinal of today, the history behind it. You know, and I guarantee people forfeited matches just to be here. And here we go. We are ready. Rob Culp, if you'll look in the top left side of your screen, you'll see it is the quarterfinal round.
Check. Check, check. All right, everyone. It is time. It is. People f still filing in to okay, grab some seats. Here we go. Sudzy Monchek serving game one. A little bit of a slow start here for these guys. I know it's the morning match, and they're going to take some time to really get to, like, full throttle here. Oh, yeah. Sure. You know, a couple misses, loose shots in the past couple rallies. Both of them coming out with some drive serves, though. Good serve, great hands mm -hmm. by Alvaro. Some of the best of all time. Such a forehand setup here. Definitely not a good effort from Sudzy on that shot. He knows it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sudgy so there for that one. Alvaro definitely missed an easy one. So we got ourselves a tie game here in game one. One thing that's going to be a factor here in this match is the amount that both players have played. This is the quarterfinals, and Alvi started in the round of 32, as all the top 16 players did. Mm -hmm. So he has played two singles matches and just one doubles match. Ball called skip. We have an appeal, so we're going to run that back. And Scott is going to come over into our booth and check that out. This is probably new for Sudzy. He did not have instant replay when he was playing. Here we go. So Haber is going to come back and take this ball off the back wall with his forehand. <laughs> Scott has made his decision. Going back to the court. Okay, good shot called. I think Sudsy knew it also. Good rally here. <coughs> That's what we need. These players just need to get going here, for sure. Charlie, just as a refresher, you get one appeal per player per game. Yes, yeah. and um, 
if if you win the appeal, no appeal is used. So in that case, Alvaro appealed. He won that appeal. So he still has his appeal for this game. It's only if you lose the appeal that you yeah. lose your appeal. Similar to a challenge in Exactly. Football. Exactly. Alvi electing to go lob to Sudsy's backhand. So anyway, as I was saying, Alvaro's played three pro matches. Two of the singles have been on this court. Oof, what a shot by Sudsy. Forehand splat. You know, not a lot of people give Sudsy enough credit for his forehand. Also amazing. Sudsy has played one singles match on this court and one doubles match. Look at that shot. Backhand getting low. I mean, that is vintage. Nothing has changed in Sudsy's game. It is still the same game, just a little, a little wiser now. Maybe slightly less athletic and explosive as he once was, but look at that serve. Ace serve, I think he's starting to get going here. 3-3, we'll get that scoreboard updated for you. That's all right, Kelly, just hinting. That is my bad. Just hinting at you. I know you're doing a lot over there. Another great shot by Sudzy. He's starting to roll here. 4-3. Four, three. Four, three. Sudzy has played, as I said, he's played one match on this court. But he... No, he's played two matches on this court. Look at that. Ace serve to the forehand. 5-7-3. But this is his fifth singles match of the tournament. First match he played, I don't remember the name. I think it was John Johnson or something like that. Sorry if I got the name wrong, but none, the second match was Gerardo Franco, the 18 under Mexican national champion. Third match was, here's the draw, great, thank you. Third match was Felipe Camacho. He won that in three close games. And then last night's match against Jansen Allen, he won in five games. So we're talking four singles matches and a doubles match that went tiebreaker. The five-gamer with Jansen Allen, which was just yesterday, that could be a factor. I mean, as far as court time goes, he has almost three times the amount of court time that Alvaro has. Skip ball by Alvi. 6-3 is a great start for Sudsy. A little slow at first. The first handful of rallies were not that great. Sudsy really turning it up here. One thing, Sudsy, great serve there. He's going to have that backhand set up off the back wall. You know that was going to happen. Splat, roll out. With the ball that close to that wall, that is almost automatic for Sudsy. Drive serve at 7-3. Sudsy missing his opportunity there. We do have line judges as well for this match. So if you hear that, if you hear more than one call, like a short serve, called more than once. That is why. What a shot by Sudsy. I can't tell you how difficult that shot is, short hopping it with your forehand splat or backhand, really. Sudsy going for that crack ace on the defense now. Alvaro up top. Sudsy is going to take this off the back wall. 
Alvi with the easy winner. I know this match is just getting started and it's an epic match, but I just want to mention the next match is going to be Daniel De La Rosa and Alex Londa. That's directly after this. We've got racquetball going all day. This is going to be one of those amazing days of racquetball. Four quarterfinals from the men's. We also have two semifinals of the doubles this evening. It's going to be some great stuff. It's going to be amazing. So hope you guys have the day off or you can get away with watching yeah. this at work. Anthony, hope you didn't get caught out there. <laughs> Let us know how you're doing. Let us know if we need to write a note to your work, write a letter <laughs> excusing you. Alvaro has creeped back into this match. He's tied yes, it up has. with that forehand shot. Alvaro is deadly. You know, I mean, Sudzi really took control of some of those rallies to get a, out to a 7-3 lead, and now Alvaro has done the same thing. Alvaro hitting Getting the on deck the there, couldn't get to it, but at least we have our first dive of the game, and we already need a towel. Game one. In case you were wondering, <laughs> Brian Pineda will be with us shortly. He was playing. He's playing the open doubles with Sean Royster, who is the uh, production team that does the uh, tennis channel stuff. So a couple broadcasters playing doubles. Mm -hmm. But their match is over and Brian will be here. I know he wants to watch this match and be a part of it. Sudzi serving at 7-all, missing that drive serve, and Alvaro with a great forehand splat. Alvaro executing very well. <laughs> And Charlie, we're starting to see that top row up in the bleachers starting to fill up. So mm -hmm. just as we called, they're going to start piling in and piling up. Alvi with the easy forehand in the middle of the court. Missed shot by Sudzy. Eight seven. Alvaro with his first lead of this match. Great serve there. Alvaro not typically known for his drive serve, but he has an amazing forehand. Mm. Hey. I want to apologize for that. Game one. Game one goes to Alvaro. 11 7. Sudzi is probably not too happy with that outcome. Obviously, he was up 7 3, and then Alvi run eight straight points on him. You know, I think that first game is very important. Obviously, yeah. we're probably going to take a break, Kelly. I'm going to leave that one up to you. Okay, we'll take a commercial break. Thanks, everyone, for being here. More awesome racquetball action coming your way. Yeah, I got 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Team two, Alvaro Sirs. Team two, we're about to start here. Sure. Had the wrong headset on, I apologize for that. So we get our scoreboard up here. So as you can see, Alvaro winning that first game 11-7. Sudzy was actually up in that game. A pretty big 7-3. Let that one slip away, but you know, Alvaro really turned it up. So Kelly, what's up? How's the uh, Facebook stream going? Anybody chatting in there? There has been some people chatting. Sure. Last I checked, there was over two. Wow, we are over 500 now. That is climbing. Steadily. Climbing towards six. Let's see, Carla Muna Munoz. Munoz. Carlita. Carla probably watching from the hotel room. Mike Curry, you're glad you like the feed. Looks like we've got a broken ball. We're going to replay that point. Hello, Victor Rodriguez. Good to see you in there. Skip ball called. A very important game, too, for both players. I mean, if Sudsy wants to win this match, I think this is a must win. Cliff Swain on Facebook watching. Cliff, the legend. Mm. I think that's Beltron's third or fourth skip in this second game. He's having trouble getting that ball up to the wall. Yeah, he's definitely had his opportunities. Sudsy really needs to step it up. An illegal drive serve call, that means he crossed the second red line that you see uh -huh. in the service box. Cross it with his racket, you're not allowed to do that, and hit it back down that line, that's why that line is there. Mm -hmm. Red line closest to the sidewall is the doubles line, that's where the doubles player will stand in that small box. For those of you new to racquetball, that dotted line closest to the back wall is called the encroachment line. which means if someone hits a serve, you cannot cross that line before the ball crosses it. It's to protect the server, as you can see, a little distance between them and the line. Wouldn't want a racket to hit anybody. No. Sudzy there in the front wall, he re-kills that. Ball was called skip. Sudzy will most likely appeal it. Actually, Alvaro is just going to say it was good. Too much respect. Too much yep. respect on that court. You can hear Absolutely. it from the crowd. Even I'm going to... Show some props. 
You always like to see that. Hmm? Well, here's the oh. thing with the... That's what you called it for a football there. <laughs> definitely two of them the more uh, charismatic and entertaining yeah. play. I mean Sudzy was is definitely one of the most entertaining, if not the most entertaining, you know, wears his heart on his sleeve. Very talkative usually. One thing about the instant replay is, you know, in that case, for example, Alvaro knew that shot was good, and Sudzy was probably going to appeal. Wow, great get from yeah. Sudzy. That was incredible. The soft hands to just kiss it off that front wall. You know, if Sudzy knows, I mean, Alvaro knows the shot was good and that Sudzy was going to appeal. There's really no point in out and any wasted time Scott right. running over here if Alvaro knew it was good and that's what Scott would have seen. Great shot, great drive serve from Sudsy. He's back in the lead now. Looks like we've got a broken string. It's always nice to break a string on an ace serve. <laughs> Maybe he was not trying to do that. I want to take this time to thank Rafa House they have an auction going on, so go check that out. You can find Brian Pineda is here. Brian Pineda is here. He just fell short in his doubles match. Played an extremely tough team. In fact, played a team from Bolivia. Conrado Moscoso and Roland Keller. The Bolivian national team, doubles team. They also played the pro doubles last night, which makes me wonder why they're in the open doubles. Conrado is also in the pro quarterfinal, if I'm not mistaken. He plays Kane today. Well, that'll be an e easy match for him, right? <laughs> yeah. It'll be an exciting one. I mean, Conrado is one of the most talented players out there. And yeah. We'll get to that match, though. That's further down. That's the last one we have. But, yeah, definitely a lot of great matches as this tournament goes on. That placement from Sudsy there, no chance yep. for Beltron. Great, great comeback here at 5-2. He was down 2-0 after dropping that first game. You don't know if maybe he was going to lose it a little bit. Lob Nick to Alvaro's backhand, just too good. You really have to get that ball on that side wall. You can't let it keep floating into his hitting zone. What does Pineda call those? The plums. <laughs> that was not quite plum, but yes, Kelly, pretty much, yeah. I'll let Pineda come in here and yeah. start talking about we Plum have, City. We have no right to label something a plum. <laughs> a Pineda plum. I told John Scott after this tournament, I will create a graphic. Pineda's plums. <laughs> See, you know, it's the the little things that the little improvements. What a shot from Sudsy. Yeah. Running up there, not an easy shot. Five three. Extremely important game here for Sudsy. If he wins this, I think, you know, this whole crowd and. Sudsy also will really get fired up. Wow, what a rally. <laughs> a lot of misdirection going on there. Players going one way and then having to go back the other. 3-5. Drive serve from Alvaro. Z to the forehand. 
Wow. Call it good. Alvaro is definitely going to appeal that, so you might want to just cue that up. There he goes. He has appealed officially. And we are ready to run it back. Oh, sorry. So here's the drive serve from Alvaro. We'll go slow motion now. A little spotty there. Can we play here? That's why it's spotty. What's coming off the ball? All right, Scott has made his decision. Sorry about that, folks. It was a little. A little bit of a Alvaro up there ready to drive serve. You know, it's just real tough to see. Tough to see on that one. Alvaro couldn't believe it. Could be an important call there. Sudji with a the skip there. Great shot, side out. You know, a questionable call like that, it's sometimes nice to see the player who got the short end of the deal win the next rally. It kind of evens it out. It, it evens out mentally, I think, for the player. And big skip there. Another, you know, at this point, if Alvaro would have lost a couple rallies in a row after that call, that, that may have really gotten to him mentally. But he's won a couple rallies here, and he's probably starting to forget Start to play his game. Great serve, but great shot from Sudsy. 5-3. Great touch from Sudsy. Another great shot. Wow. What hands. We finally break from this tie. We or not tie, but five three score we had for the last three minutes, four minutes. We have six hundred and fifty viewers watching right now. It's gotta be some kind of a record. Keep sharing, keep yes. liking, keep commenting. We really appreciate it, guys. You know, there's that serve again, Kelly. I was talking about earlier. Sudzy just not getting that ball where he wants right, it. Right. It needs to hit that side wall. Alex, this is Charlie Pratt and Kelly Diesel. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if you are Sudsy and that serve isn't working for you, do you abandon it or you just keep trying to find it? 
Good question. Um, I, I wouldn't personally. I would look at the serves that I was hitting and realize I wasn't hitting good serves. If that's a, and that's not a bad serve to hit to Alvaro because Alvaro's forehand is better than his backhand. Mm -hmm. All these pros, though, you, you can't really s at this level quarterfinals. There's really no major weakness like oh you got to hit it to his forehand or his right. backhand i mean it's so small the m minimal differences right yeah pending an injury there's there's really no way to take advantage of a pro at this level right right i mean some are are slightly faster than others slightly more powerful but really it comes down to execution and right now sudzi on those serves is not executing the serves and alvaro is We're going to have a timeout here from Sudsy, 7-6. Alvaro has taken the lead. We'll take a short break as well. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll be back in a moment. back everyone time is in game two seven six Sudzi with the forehand misses that one Alvaro off the wall Sudzi with the miss eight six not the start Sudzi wanted after that timeout this is a crucial game for Sudzi skip ball there mm. you're absolutely right that is not the start he had in mind coming yeah. out that time. Take out. a timeout. Two quick, easy points for Alvaro. Good shot there. Sutsy's going to have the backhand off the back wall. Goes cross court. He's there for that. Alvi with some quick hands. Some of the best in the game. Three points in a row, and he's got game point. So he cutting it off. What a shot. Still in it. Mm -hmm. He said he's not going away. He's got to come up with some good serves here. Maybe a crack ace. Oh, he went for it. What a shot from Alvaro, though. I mean, <laughs> what can you do? Serve was close to perfect, and Alvaro right. just sticks his racket out. Best hands in the game. He's showing it. <laughs> well, maybe not best hands in the game, but some of the best, that's for sure. Alvaro with an easy set up there. Another one. Sudsy's there. Alvaro now. Sudsy between the legs. Wow. Ball skips. Game two goes to Alvaro. 11-6. What a comeback again, you know. Got a feel for Sudsy. He was up in both of those games. Up 7-3 in the first, lost 11-7. Up 5-6-3 in the second, yeah. and lost 11-6. So, uh, you know, good job for Alvaro coming back in those games. We're going to take a break. Game three coming up in a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
With United Healthcare, you can get rewarded for all kinds of things, like walking. Hey, honey. Dad, where's the car? Thought we walked. It's counting steps. Walk, move, and earn money. Goal! Dad! Hey, we want to welcome everyone to the father and hands. He's got to move. Money you can use on out-of-pocket medical expenses. He's okay! Yeah! United Healthcare. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to the IRT Network, or if you're on Facebook, we're streaming this and all of our matches today for free. We're hitting record numbers here on the views on Facebook. 543 last I checked. You know, Kelly, when this draw came out, when word came out that Sudsy was going to play this event, play singles and then doubles with Cliff, you know, everyone was really, you know, we kind of knew that Sudsy had been playing quite a bit with his job in Ecuador and just being involved in racquetball, and he's he's gotten in great shape. And he posts videos of him slamming backhands like he always has. So when people saw him in the draw, it was, uh, it was definitely a stir. Skip ball from Alvaro there. Definitely a stir, and when they saw the, the draw come out, they said, you know, this really could happen. This matchup, Alvaro versus Sudsy. Sudsy had to win four matches to get here. Alvaro is sticking with that lob to the forehand, and that is just his serve. He's been... Sudsy calling two on himself there. That's a new one. We're going to bring in the towel, I think. So there's a little confusion on who served, and, you know, Alvaro did serve that one. They're going to come back. We're going to run it back, actually, real quick. Uh, maybe not. Scott's going somewhere for it, but. Alvaro served. Alvaro served. All right, we are, uh, we're all good. Alvaro served, and Scott got what he, got what he wanted. These characters on this court, man. You know, they used to mic the players. They used to put really? a, mic, a little microphone pack and a microphone mm -hmm. right here. Back in the day. And it was definitely entertaining. I'm not sure why they went away with that. Maybe a few too many. You could hear too many things. Yeah. But it definitely was fun, it, fun to hear. Um, I wonder if the players... Uh, how they felt about that? Maybe they, maybe they complain. Could be, could be. I know some of them had kind of a problem with the actual. They had to carry a little pack on them. Yeah. And it's like you know you're diving around and moving, yeah. and you could these things would bounce around and it was probably not very yeah, comfortable. You could injure yourself even more, honestly. Yeah, you could, you could. But there was never a question on what anyone was saying. Right. At that point, you could hear everything, which was kind of part of the entertainment value. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, cr all sports, across all platforms, anytime a player's make mic'd up on the sidelines, on the field, on the court, fans and spectators, they, they love that.
Great get from Sudsy there. Missed forehand, good rally though. Score is 1-4 on the Penn scoreboard. Good serve called there. Good shot from Sudzy. What a shot from Sudsy. What a serve from Sudsy, the crack ace. You know, Charlie, I, I said last night that I am going to pick Beltron to win this match this morning. And even though I probably made a bunch of enemies out there in the racquetball world, I was going to stick with this. And I think uh, Sudsy must have got word of that, and he's, he's letting me know he's not going away. As he's up 8-1 now here in game three, trying to push a game four. It's great to see. Absolutely. Good serve there. Nice shot from Alvaro. But you're right, Kelly. You know, I tried not to make any prediction for this match, but I will say that I did predict Alvaro to win this. Only because of the fatigue of Sudzy. Mm -hmm. Only because of how many matches he's played and not... Not because of his age or anything like that, but anyone who's played that many matches is, has a slight disadvantage. Some some would say maybe Sudsy would be more sharp because he's played more matches, yeah. but you know he's definitely and that may be. But he's also at the same time fatigued. Oh, know? for sure, for sure. I mean, it's you can't have super one important the other. when you're playing that many matches. You know the food that you eat, what you're drinking. You know it. It's it all plays a huge factor, and even if you do everything perfect, there you are not as fresh as you were when you first came into the tournament. What a shot! The Sudsy splat. That was probably the hardest backhand he's hit today. Eight one is a huge lead in this one. He's been up in every game. Sudsy with the down the line kill. He's up 9 1. This crowd is going to. What a serve. Sudsy is just dropping bombs right now. This crowd's going to love seeing a fourth game. You know, and anything's possible. I mean, he wins this one. He's got game point here. So that's he going for the crack ace. And yeah, the the crowd is excited, but I, I'm just as excited. Me too. I you know, mean, it's such an an anticipated match. You don't want to see it go three games quickly, especially since he was up in each game. Right. He easily could have won this match in three. Right now he's battling, trying to force a fifth game. Alvaro maybe a little too relaxed, but short serve called there. An appeal has been made, so we're going to run that back. Scott McClellan, our referee, is going to come over here and check it out. So we're going to run it all the way forward. 
Here's the drive serve. Should have a good view of this. Ooh. Right. That hey. was close. It was. It caught the line. It definitely caught the line. I try not to say it. Definitely don't want to say anything while Scott's around. Charlie, you want to let him know who just joined us? I do. Is the he ready? The plum is, master. Is the, is the world ready? Oh my gosh, is this broadcast just going to exponentially increase or decrease? We're going to find out. Skip ball called. Alvaro says good call, and that is game three. Goes to Sudsy. We're going for Pineda. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, just in I time for a commercial we, break. How about that? Should we? We should. We'll okay. be right back, we ladies gotta and thank gentlemen. Our sponsors. We got to thank them. Do you want to be a better racquetball player? Brand Davis can and will make you a better player. Guaranteed. Pro or beginner and every level in between. Paula Longoria, Rocky Carson, and legends Jason Menino and Sudzi Monchek all use her proven systems to be a better racquetball player and champion. Check out her book, DVD, camps, coaching sessions, and video analysis. All at BrandDavisRacquetball.com. And welcome back to the International Racquetball Tours Network. Glad to be with you guys. I am Brian Pineda. Joining with you all and watching who's been with you the entire time. Kelly Diesel, fill her up! And Charlie Chuckles Pratt. <laughs> Are we ready, Charlie? Game yes. four, did you see this coming? Well, yeah, I did actually. I predicted a four gamer. I predicted one of these players was going to win in four, and we're actually on the path to that. But I would, I would like to see Sudzy win this one and have it go five, and have Sudzy win in general. It would be the story we've been waiting for all week. You know, we've anticipated a Kane and Sudzy draw, and you know, I talked, I talked to Beltran last night, and. In my mind, I think we talked previously and we thought Sudzy had a great draw, but then you look at Beltran's draw, that's actually a dream draw itself. So this whole section of the draw, you've got to feel real confident if you're on that path uh, to the cane train. What a shot uh. from Sudzy. Crowd is definitely going to get into this here. We're going to... This is a very interesting game because if this goes five, it's going to get crazy. Oh, my. Sudzy just missing that serve. Pops out of the corner. Easy shot for Alvaro. 0-1. Zero, 0-0. Zero, zero. Sorry. <laughs> I saw See that. There. Killed Scott. I've got two. I believe an encroachment was called there. Doesn't really matter. The rally was played through and... Red Bull. Red 
Sudji with the slam and backhand. Another one off the back wall. What do we call those, Pineda? He's right in the middle of Plumville. Oh, the racket oh to the leg boy. of Sudzy. Just oh, an avoidable call there. Can I appeal hinders? As we said, we are hitting record numbers here on Facebook. It was as high as 660 something. Wow. Yeah. We're getting up there. And yeah. then Pineda got on the mic, and it dropped about 150, but it's slowly climbing back up. You know what? They have to brace themselves. Some people, they have to go change their shorts Wow! when I come on, all right? <laughs> what a shot. It's great to hear Richard Al out there. We're going to have a screaming contest, Richard Al and Meredith Gilbert, all right? Here's the thing. A match, a match is not a match until one person dives or... Richard all starts screaming mm. and both things have happened so here we go Sudzy missing that serve again it's a couple of times has popped out of that corner and easy shot for Alvaro and that's his bread and butter that soft pinch oh, yeah. on either side zero effort for him but extremely hard to do Sudzy cutting that serve off again backhand off the back wall perfect down the line easy stroke Alvaro's been serving that high lob to Sudzi's forehand. I think that suits this game plan pretty well. Alvaro loves that serve, and Sudzi's backhand is deadly. Great Good serve from Sudzi. Great shot from Alvaro. Ooh, oh, just barely oh, 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 oh. missing that one. All week long, I've been so impressed with watching Sudzi the way he crab crawls to balls, you think they're way past him, and the next thing you know, his agility kicks in, and he moves so effortlessly to the ball. It's true. He has um, that first step, and the second and third. Mm -hmm. There he is, Richard All. I think there's a fan in the building. <laughs> Brandon Davis watching online. He's a great fan. Mentioning I think with him you Rojas. use the full word fanatic. What's that? I said I think with him you use the full word fanatic. Yeah, we go fanatic, yeah. He is great outdoor competitor. Um just an overall good human being. Love the Davis brothers. Brandon bringing up a good point, too. He mentions, ooh, just missing there from Sudzy, barely. Sudzy, I think, is going to appeal to short serve. It's a pretty smart move. It's a little early in the game, though. You know, he's kind of risking losing his appeal at he has zero points. He comes from an era of no appeal, so this has got to be like a gift to him. Yep. Yes, definitely a new one for him. Here comes Sudzy's serve. Here's the drive serve going over to the left side. Ef hut 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 We're tracking. Oh yeah. And one look wonder. Scott McClellan sees what he wants. One look and wonder. Look at Al Alvaro's hand going flying up there. I think it was pretty obvious that one was short by about six inches. But you know, they're cranking it in there. I've been in Scott's shoes, and. It's a tough job, you know, especially here at the U.S. Open. It was ten times more stressful here than any other tournament. This is just a production. A show. So it's nice. kind of a mistake on that one. That was just, that's just too easy as far as, even though it's a second serve, just laying it out there for. He knows better. Alvaro's forehand, great shot from Sudzy. Coming from an era as well where Sudzy played one serve, I'm surprised he doesn't go for the second serve, you know. Mm -hmm. He's used to being sighted out and going back to the retrieving section. That's a great point, Pineda. Wow. Once in a while, I will get you. Every once in a while, he's not just fun and jokes. He actually knows a thing or two. Ball called two bounces. Good call. Tal coming in. Yes, when he's not busy refereeing 600 matches at once, <laughs> he's out there. I got this, guys. He is the U.S. Open MVP as far as I'm concerned. You know? He's the forum's punching bag. 
he's a referee whose favorite call is I didn't see it. Or hashtag just a replay. Replay. Hashtag I will rule your day. Hashtag blatant Blanton. Blatant <laughs> Blanton. But I must say that. What? Avoidable hinder called. Alvaro with a straight in, more or less straight in shot, hitting Sudsy in the shoe. I think you've really got to take one. If it's not above Mach 3, it's a replay. <laughs> yeah, you really have to sell the avoidable. Alvaro with the, I don't know if that's a dive or if he it's just a sat down. It's a tumble. <laughs> we teach our three-year-olds as they start learning how to move to tumble so they get their flexibility in gymnastics. Look at Rob Blanton out there just... Moving quick. This is great. Usually towel timeouts kind of take a, a little while, and Blanton's out there with in no time. He's going to start sweating himself. That's right. These players keep diving. And if you haven't already, I'd start making my plans for the U.S. Open. You know, there's a great way to get to the U.S. Open. If you sign up for a lifetime membership today, it's four ninety nine. You get yourself five entries into the grand prize, a flight to the U.S. Open 2018, two comp entry fees, a spot in the Sudsy Munchik Cliff Swing Camp, a racket from either Pro Kinex Gearbox Head, a five hundred dollar Visa card, a steak dinner you're allowed to buy myself and Pratt, <laughs> and also a chance to do some broadcasting to the quarterfinals. We're now joined with the mouth. Mouth, what's going on? <laughs> the dream team has been assembled. Oh my gosh! How how long has it been since it's been the three of us? Too long. Too the long. holy trinity. It. <laughs> I thought they made that illegal, and that's why we just too Only much fun on the Only in 49 of the 50 states. But Guess what good. state we're in? We're good. <laughs> Hey, guys, I just want to say uh, quickly thank you to Charlie and Brian and Kelly. You guys are doing a fantastic job. We really over are. 700 <laughs> <laughs> over 700 <laughs> people watching on Facebook alone, which is great. Right now across all platforms, which is the network, Twitch TV, YouTube, Ustream, live stream, all of these things, we have over 100,000 people watching, unique people watching right now. And that's just fantastic. We're so excited about that. And a great match here. So I've just... Wanted to take a moment, say hi to the fans. Thank you, guys. I'll, I'll stay on for the remainder of this game, which is a fantastic game. Great rally there. Thank you, John. I know you're running around doing your thing and doing a great job. But it's great to have you on the mic. This is where John, it all began. Is it nice just doing the business end instead of doing like 13,000 things at once? <laughs> now you're down to 12,998. I, I have lost... Tens of ounces running around this place <laughs> trying to do what needs to get done. Um, you know, honestly, it gives me a new respect for Jason Menino and all the work that he had to do. Um, I underestimated that a little bit, but Andy Callback is doing a fantastic job helping us as well. If I'm being honest, I really miss being on the air. I don't get to be on the air as much as I, I have in the past, and, and that's a transition, and that's okay. You guys do a fantastic job. What a serve from Sudsy there, the jam. Kind of got Alvaro John, stepping a little bit. John and Charlie, this question is for you guys. I think we've heard a little bit from Charlie, but how nostalgic is it for you guys to be seeing Sudzy Monchik, four-time U.S. Open champion, back at the U.S. Open in the quarterfinals? Well, I personally grew up watching Sudzy. Eight years old, he came to Portland for the Pro Portland Pro Stop, and they had that a few more years after that. And I got to see him as a kid, and he was... You know, I loved Cliff Sudsy, Menino, um, Ellis, but Sudsy definitely stood out as far as the most exciting player and the youngest at the time. So I was a Sudsy fan right off the bat, and that was the last time when I was maybe 10 years old that I got to see him play live. And now here I am. You're right, 20, 20 plus years later. It's John, crazy. how about you? Yeah, I, I've had the opportunity to see Sudsy a few times. The last time I saw Sudsy was in Bowling Green, Kentucky, about six years ago, playing Alvaro Beltran. I remember that because I roughed it, and uh, Sudsy won in five. So we've got a great match here, looking like it's going to go possibly five. We're tied at three. 
I'm sorry, John. That was definitely not six years ago, but it was it was six or seven years ago. Absolutely, it was. No way. That sure. was not 2011. It was not more than seven years ago. <laughs> okay, we're starting to go up. Can I hear eight? Here. Do I have <laughs> honestly, a bid for eight years? Honestly, Thank I you. think it was ten years ago. It was like 2006 or something. The last time I saw Sudsy, he was two Sudsies big. Yeah, he's lost half a Sudsy over the years, mm -hmm. but he's he's really. <laughs> Really looking good here again. Alvy won the first two. Sutsi came back impressively. Now Alvy is going with a high lob serve. Right hand side. This will force Sutsi to go cross court. Alvaro is there to put it up top. Sutsi off the back glass. Mm -hmm. Nothing but splinters on the side wall. That's Alvaro his shot in the too. box. He wants that one back. 4-3. I mean, how crazy would this be if it went 5? I'm being told 2007. So it feels like 7 years ago, but maybe mm -hmm. 10. Six, That's where the seven ten, is. 2007, know. seven years. Yeah, it's really. I mean, I was on two or six oh, years. Great get oh. from Alvaro. Sudsy Another good one. Keeping the pressure on. He'll go down the line here. Alvaro gets off the floor, goes wide. No, he oh. hits a bad shot. Speaking of bad shots, Sudsy leaves that one up. That and ball skipped, too. Wow. Wow. Crazy. Could be the ugliest rally ever on the stage court, and that's okay. These are two of the most talented players. They're allowed to have that. And speaking of things that are ugly, <laughs> yes. Want to say hi to my mother-in-law watching Yee! back home in Kentucky. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> you know, if she actually watched these, this would... She doesn't have electricity yet, but one day she will. <laughs> John, you know, is Rob Blanton not the MVP of the U.S. Open? 900 matches deep. Now he's playing Towboy. Yeah, right. He's done a fantastic job, all volunteer, and he's been working 12 hours a day uh, since Tuesday. Drive serve from Suzy, backhand side. Alvaro shoots it down the line. Can't put it down, though. Now back deep. Looks like he double dribbled the ball off his racket, and Suzy is in the box. I mean, that's the toughest shot to hit on this particular court is when it's going into the corner and it doesn't come off that side wall. Hits the back wall and just sort of dies. Sudsy in the center of the box with a drive serve wide. There's Alvaro up top. Sudsy shoots it down the line and a great shot. He's got some pace on that backhand still. Get that ball. Oh, oh he was there. You see that curve on Sudsy's backhand, that first one he hit? I don't think he can hit a backhand without it curving. It's flat. We've got a packed house here. I've been on the air for about three minutes, and there's about 50 people that I already hate that I'm doing play-by-play. -play. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said you miss being on the air. <laughs> I guess they don't. Extend that. Right. See if everyone else does. If you guys would, definitely share this feed. Lots of people watching on Facebook. There's a great serve. Forces Sudsy up top. Alvaro under the corner, but says he, oh, my goodness, no. another big open stance skip. You know, rush that one a little bit for sure. 5-4, Five, Five, Alvaro with a narrow lead. High lob serve, forehand side. Sudsy will take this, almost encroaches, but doesn't off the back glass goes Alvaro. Sudsy back deep, big setup. Mm. Wow. Clutch Good shot. Alvaro sticking with that lob. Hoping Sudsy's going to break down. I think what's going to happen is Sudsy's going to get more and more used to it. But, you know, as far as the first serve goes, he hits a lob, Sudsy hits a cross court, and Alvaro's automatically on the defense. It's not going to bode oh. well. That looked like a wet ball. First serve. Put a little English on that one. We're losing our court sound for some reason off and on. You know, we talked a lot about Sudsy. When you talk about naturally gifted players, you've got to think that Beltran is in the top three all time, just naturally gifted. Never really had a try. God literally said, here is a racquetball. I'm injecting it in you. Everyone else has to work for it. <laughs> yes, Alvaro definitely up there. Alvaro not necessarily known for, you know, his fitness or physique. 
work ethic. I mean, you don't know how hard he definitely has to get in there and and work hard. Great shot from Alvaro. But you know, Alvaro spends a lot of time in the court. The way he trains is he right. serving for he'll go in and work on like one shot for a few hours. Just over and over and over again. Huge repetition. Everybody trains differently. I don't think you see Alvaro doing any box jumps or right, you know. Training like that. Oh, tough shot there from Sudsy. Well, yeah. for Sudsy from Alvaro. The uh, the gentleman who invented that, it was always Charlie Brumfield, and I'll quote him all day long, folks. Charlie Brumfield believed that the best way to get better at racquetball is to play racquetball. Nice. So It's also the most fun. So I was talking with the players after, uh, or I'm sorry, bef before the introductions while we have this timeout. Talking with the players and I was asking Sudsy how he felt, and he said he's a little bit tired. I said, how, how upset were you that you lost doubles? And he said, I wanted to win, but it wasn't the worst thing. I said, listen, I'm not mad at all that you lost doubles because I, I was worried about how many miles he's going to put on his body. I said, are you glad that you entered? And he said, yeah, but the one thing I would have done differently is probably play Canoga Park so that I could have some points coming into this event and maybe – not have one of those rounds that he had to right. play. That's a great point. Yeah, that's not a bad point, but at the same time, he's got a he had a great draw. He had um, just winnable matches, all of them, and you know maybe he could have had a a couple more points, and who knows where he would have ended up, and he would have played Kane in the round of 16s or or in the 32s or something. You just right. don't really know. And think about so, that extra adrenaline maybe he had because of not knowing. You know, it's been so long. This is the build-up. This is why everyone came. If people maybe got a hint of what to expect from Sudsy, maybe this story wouldn't have been, been as big, and thus his adrenaline maybe not at the perfect place where it's at. Because right now, this is the best result he could have posted. Beating Jansen, I don't care how much success he's had before, this play today is the best it's ever been. I mean, the athletes train better. They're smarter. They're dieting better. Everything's just better. The competitive side, you know, that's for people to debate. But the fact he's able to get through a top eight player like that in five games is incredible. And to be pushing Beltran to four, it's it's an achievement in itself. I don't care if he's the four-time U.S. Open champion. What he's doing today is remarkable. People, everyone appreciates that. That's why we have 100,000 people tuning in. Yeah, absolutely. Very... Uh very impressive as far as the response of folks watching. Sudsy with a drive, actually a jam serve. Great Alvaro serve. jammed and, and skips it. One of, the, one of the great things that's coming from this particular event is the amount of folks that are interested in uh, coming on board with the IRT. We'll talk about that throughout the day. Lots of new partners, lots of new advertisers. And you guys will see that as we oh, play new yeah. ads. That's a great shot. Sudsy now off the back glass. Beltran back deep. He's going to shoot this overhead. Oh, and missed opportunity. Sudsy makes him pay with a front wall, side wall rollout. Great rally there by both players. Yeah, I'm going to put game. both monos together right now because that's vintage Sudsy. Diving, agility, finish with the kill. Yeah, Six, absolutely. seven now. Six serving seven here on the head pen scoreboard. I'm going to put you on the spot, John Scott. All right. How do you like that? Team Swain. Team Monship, pick one. Is this like the uh, all time? Who would you, ha if you had to pick a side? Oh, Swain. Okay, Charlie. I don't really know what. What do you mean? Like, you pick one or the other. Let's say they <laughs> were in their prime. I don't know how to dumb this down anymore, but let's say they're in their prime. <laughs> you're either Team Sudsy. Like, like Team, team Warwolf or, or or Vampire. Jacob or what's his face? Edward. Thank you. Like Kelly, if, of course, would know that. Yeah, I, th I think I would go with Swain, but I wouldn't be upset if I had Sudsy either. You know, we've got got a lot of great history in the sport, and most of them are playing in the pro singles or doubles at this event. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
Sudsy back in the box, 6-7. And we'll come back to you, Charlie. We've got all day, so you just yeah, think give about it some it, okay? Drive serve, backhand side. Alvaro goes up top. Sudsy back deep, looking for the thunder splat. Can't get it. Ooh, <laughs> nice shot there. <laughs> what hands. You know, he lost it a little bit in the glass and just stuck his racket out there. That's sorcery. Seven all. You can feel the, the energy in the crowd building up. They want to see five. This would be huge. He's Sudsy going for down. Crack ace. Crack ace. Looking for a drive serve. Another Love jam. It, Alvaro yeah. a little slow going after it. Now off the back glass. Oh, it looked like it skipped. Skip ball called. Okay, we're going to appeal Alvaro with the appeal, although. I think he. He definitely appealed. Oh. Did Scott call that good? He, he did. called it good. Wow. You know, you know what? what? That's what the appeal is oh. all about. We'll have the instant replay, and during the instant replay, we want to say uh, hi to all of our sponsors once again. If you are interested in partnering with the IRT, either with uh, partnership or advertising, feel free to contact us directly, john at irt-tour.com. John at irt-tour.com. Here's a if shot here, John. Sorry if you're interested in being a part of the tour. See the ball head to the front wall. Mm. One look wonder, Scott McClellan sees all he needs. I have no idea what the call is going to be. Ball called good. If it skipped, it may have skipped you know, near his racket, but I didn't see it. And timeout from Alvaro. It's probably a good timeout. I said he was I love that. the lead. Sorry, I was, gonna, I was just going to say, I'll squeak in real quick. Uses the appeal as of his first timeout, then waits for it, and then goes into a timeout. Right. That's smart IQ racquetball. Great timeout there. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. More great racquetball action coming your way live. This is the IRT Network. Hi, Mr. Powers. Thanks for calling United Healthcare. Hi. I need your help. I've been trying to find a knee specialist, but nobody has an opening for months. <laughs> Powers? You can't always control your feelings. Oh, I found one in network next Tuesday. But choosing United Healthcare <laughs> can help you control your care. Thanks, Stephanie. I see on our preventive checklist you're due for a colonoscopy. It's covered at no additional cost to you. Great. No green. United Healthcare. When it comes to the game of life, we're all on the same team, and success comes simply from trying. You don't have to be a celebrated athlete. All right, well, we'll step on that commercial. <laughs> Welcome back to the IRT Network. Great racquetball action here. Looking to go five is Sudzy. Gearbox versus Gearbox. Both players battling away. We only started this match about 25 minutes late. It will end about uh, the time our third quarter final should start, I think. But we got a great day of racquetball. I'm looking forward to Landa De La Rosa. That's next. That's a completely up next. different style of, of what this particular match is. So that's he going with that jam again. That, oh, oh, wow. I mean, you had Alvaro just flailing at that. That jam has really been working for Sudsy. 7-8, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Sudsy with a one-point lead. Crucial shot there from Alvaro. You better believe it. Beltran down by one. With a dry serve, forehand side, short serve. Guys, would you serve more balls to Sudsy's forehand or backhand? Forehand for sure, just is, to wear it down. Game? Yeah. Yep, that's a, good, that's a good call. You know, he's been so close to that line every time and just barely over that time. Alvaro killed the ball anyway, so what can you do? I think, Eight all. you know, it's with Sudsy, it's a reverse sword and shield. His sword is his backhand, his shield is the forehand, even though he's aggressive on both sides. Off the back glass. Can't put it down. That's going to be a replay. Uh-oh. A late called. avoidable called. It's getting soft out there. So Alvaro has just scored two points, one on an encroachment, the other on an avoidable. Yep. 
tough way to lose a couple points from Sudsy. Uh -huh. to, to, take a, to take a one-point lead up two games in the fourth, that's critical. High lob. Sudsy comes back. Shoots it down the line. There's Alvaro off the glass. Sudsy now has an opportunity. Backhand side. Wines delivers. Shoots it down the line. Alvaro oh. is there yeah. and skips it off the shoestrings. Must have felt bad about those last couple calls. <laughs> giving Sudsy a chance here. 8-9. Eight, nine. That was a huge point. Sudsy asking if he has his timeout. He does not. I'd love to do video with Sudsy and ask him in that particular moment if it was intentional to take some some MPHs off that backhand. I feel like right, even Beltran was looking for something harder there. Going for the crack ace here. Oh, Z. Set up he wants. Oh, Alvaro that's a great with an shot. Incredible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was fantastic. That is too many hours on the court. It's incredible. The natural ability of Beltran, hand-eye coordination, seeing the ball. I feel like players at this level, they no matter who's hitting, they just happen to see the ball a little bit slower than the average racquetball player, able to adjust to it like that. Beltran with a high lob serve. Sudsy almost encroached once again. Oh, oh no. Right there. We got match point for Alvaro, 10-8. Doctor calling the family. We're losing them. We got to see Sudsy with a side out here. People in the crowd starting to get nervous. High lob serve. Sudsy. He's going to shoot it. Goes cross court. There's Alvaro into the corner. Sudsy with a quick shot right back to the backhand side. Now with an opportunity. Needs this. Alvaro there with a great wow. get. Sudsy winds, delivers into the corner. Alvaro with another great dive. Sudsy on the ground, and he's not going to get there. Wow. Great match, great rally. Alvaro Beltran wins in four. You know, and just such a great rally to end with, too. Sudsy hitting the deck, and, you know, major props to Sudsy. You can see these guys. I mean, what an event. What a Standing ovation right now. You might never need might never see team. anything like that again in our sport. It's incredible. You know, Sudsy so close in this match, too. Such grace. I mean, he knew he probably could have won this thing, and these guys are staying on the court. Doug Gannon coming out.
Thank you for that whole thing. As for the qualifying, yeah, that was no fun, John Scott, but that's what I need to do. Alvaro and I have a Centurion doubles match together. <laughs> <laughs> so, then April will hopefully have a little more playing here in 20 years. But uh, thank you again, everyone. I don't know if this will ever happen again. Thank you, Alvaro, Doug, thank you. Gearbox, thank you. Eboos, thank you. Terry Kissling, Gray Stringer, thank you. Matt Miller, Logos, you guys are awesome. Love the support. Love you all. I hope to come back. I just don't know what tomorrow brings, so we'll see. Thank you very much for all the support. What a great so, champion. Classiest player ever. You know, I, I want to thank Suzy. When, when he saw us here, this was a gym floor, and there were people playing basketball here when we got here two and a half weeks ago. And uh, we had to clear out a storage room of about 30,000 pounds of material. And uh, Suzy put his work gloves on, and he put six or seven hours in, hauling stuff out of the court, and loading plywood, and uh, he was getting after it with us. So thanks for being such a great host here in Minneapolis. Alvaro, another semi-final here at the U.S. Open. This is no strange stage for you. You played well at this tournament for many years. I think it might be about time for you to win this thing. What do you think? First of all, it's a great honor for me to be in the court with this guy, a great champion, a legend like him. I think I was like two or three when he won his first U.S. Open. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's one of my uh, idols growing up. <laughs> Good stuff from really two of the two of the classiest players out there. There's actually a four-year difference between the two of them, so that that part was pretty funny. Uh, we're gonna take a break here and be back for our next quarterfinal between Alex Londa and Daniel De La Rosa. Again, everyone, thanks for tuning in. What an awesome experience that was, and you know something we can all hold on to for a long time and hope to see it again. For now. Take a break and be back here 10, 15 minutes.